delighted to be here at this beautiful church. Before we begin, and I'll do it again at the end, I would like to thank the pastor for the use of his church and for all of the faithful, for all they've done to make this celebration so wonderful. I would like to acknowledge in a special way Zeno's parents sitting here in the front row with their brother, with his brother, and thank them for the gift of their son. As we gather in faith as the people of God, as the body of Christ, let us pause for a moment, look into our hearts, and ask God forgiveness for our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask for the severity of a virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
God our Father, you have caused the grace of baptism to bear such fruit in your servant, Zeno, that he now strives to follow your son more closely in the seraphic order. Let him rightly aim at that true evangelical perfection which St. Francis dearly loved, and increase the holiness and apostolic zeal of your church. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
아버지 께서 나를 사랑 하신 것 처럼 나도 너희 를 사랑 하였다. 너희 는내 사랑 안에 머물러 내가 내 아버지 의 계명 을 지켜 그분 의 사랑 안에 머무는 것 처럼 너희 도내 계명 을 지키면 내 사랑 안에 머물 것 이다. 내가 너희 에게 이 마음 을한 이유 는내 기쁨 이, 너희 안에 있고 또 너희 기쁨이 충만하게 하려는 것이다. 이것이 나의 계명이다. 내가 너희를 사랑한 것처럼 너희도 서로 사랑하라. 친구들을 위하여 목숨을 내는 것보다 더큰 사랑은 없다. 내가 너희에게 명령한 것을 실천하면 너희는 나의 친구가 되 나는 너희를 더 이상 종이라고 부르지 않는다. 종은 주인이 하는 일을 모르기 때문이다. 나는 너희를 친구라고 불러다 내가 내 아버지에게서 들은 것을 너희에게 모두 알려주었기 때문이다. 너희는 나를 뽑은 것이 아니다. 내가 너희를 뽑아 세웠다. 너희는 가서 열매를 내줘 너희의 그 열매가 언제나 나의 대학을 것이다. 그리하여 너희가 내 이름으로 아버지께 청하는 것을 그분께서 너희에게 주시게 하는 것이다. 가스포 오들로 I called Brother Sino Song of Him. Present. My dear brother, what do you ask of the Lord and His Holy Church? I ask that by professing the rule and life in the order of Friars Minor, I may be able to follow the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ, and with His holy operation, follow in His footsteps all the days of my life. Now, why don't you move your chair front and center here? Like right up here in the front. My first obedience. With the permission of my Franciscan brothers and for all of the faithful and, and for Zeno's family, I would like to direct my remarks this morning particularly to Zeno. Zeno, it is good that we are here on this beautiful day, this beautiful morning, on this beautiful Marian feast where we celebrate the birth of Mary. It is good that we are all here together. Your family, your friends, the generous people of this parish, and especially your Franciscan brothers. We are all gathered here out of love for you. But we are here also to witness in a public juridical act the choice you are about to profess. The profession, the, the profession of the love you have expressed 
in the vows of poverty, obedience, and chastity. To live the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ as our seraphic father Francis has showed us. I know you do not make this choice lightly. You have traveled with us for a while, first in Portland and then in different stages of initial formation. I assume for you it has been a long road, perhaps in your mind too long, but we now stand at a fork in the road turning from initial formation to ongoing formation as a prior. But I would like to go back to this reality of the choice you are making. And I commend you for your perseverance and the response you give with a yes for the call of your vocation. I am very proud of you, Sam. I also commend you for your choice of saying yes, because it witnesses to the power of God's love. We all know that these are not particularly good times for the church. Once again, we are rocked by the evil of sexual abuse, misuse of power, and the destroying of trust. But the reality, at least as I see it, is that the, that the spirit but, but that in spite of these differences and these difficulties, you are making a cho choice and choosing to say yes in a positive sense to God's love for all people and all creation. Your yes is part of a wider response of love to the power of God in the world. The readings you chose for today's Mass clearly show that you believe in the power of love. And as you know, love, goodness, will eventually conquer all evil and all darkness. But let us look a little deeper at this choice you are making this morning. The choice to make a final commitment to live as a prior for the rest of your life in obedience, chastity, and in poverty. As our brother, Father Michael Blastic, reminds us, in the, red, in the regular Bulata, the very first chapter, we read the friars minor is called to observe the Holy Gospel, living obedience with nothing of your own and chastity, sustained by the grace of the Lord and by the, and by the vigor of fraternal love according to the Spirit of St. Francis. In the general constitutions, it also says that the friar is to follow more closely in the footsteps of Jesus Christ and faithfully observe the Holy Gospel. The friar minor lives in covenant with God by consecrating, by consecrating himself totally to God and to the church through their religious profession for the good of all men and women. This you are about to do. In both of these passages, from our rule and from our constitutions, we hear the word observe. We friars do not understand this concept of observing as having a legal meaning, such as a law or a regulation. It's much deeper than that. We scribes see to observe in a deeper, contemplative tradition that calls us to faith, to live, and to love in a particular manner. The rule of life for us, for us lesser brothers, consists in observing the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. In our tradition to mean to observe means to look at, to watch, to fall in love with a deeper reality than our own lives or the reality of daily living. We are to look at the gospel of Jesus Christ 
and keep the gospel of Jesus Christ before our eyes in every instance of our lives. This is what you are called to be now. This is our life, our goal, our desire to follow the gospel. It is, as we all know, a rather simple concept to remember. The prior simply lived the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. But at the same time, it is rather difficult to follow. But with the strength of God <coughs> and the care and love of your brother Zen, I have no doubt that you are promising today you will be able to live. Let us be realistic, however. At times, it will be difficult. At times, your brothers will fail you. At times, it might seem to all go dark. But I am convinced, and it has been my experience, that after every Good Friday experience in our life as Christ, comes eventually the joy of an Easter morning. We have, as I said, as I say all the time, a great life as Franciscans. There is never more meaning and joy in our lives than what we do than today. God knows that at this particular time and at this particular place, we have much to do. And I, speaking for all the brothers here and elsewhere, are delighted that you, Zeno, are making this final covenant to walk together with us for the rest of your life. I am extremely proud of you, Zeno. And, and on behalf of all the brothers, I thank you for saying yes to the choice you are expressing and witnessing this morning. May the good Lord bless and keep you always. Amen. My dear brother Zeno, although you have already been consecrated to the Lord and have died to sin through baptism, are you now resolved to consecrate yourself more closely to God by the bond of solemn profession in our seraphic order? I am. Are you resolved with the help of God's grace to embrace the same life of perfect chastity, obedience, and poverty? which St. Francis followed in the footsteps of Jesus Christ and the Blessed Virgin Mary, chose for himself and his brothers, and to persevere in it forever. I am. Are you resolved to strive constantly and steadfastly for the perfection of love for God and neighbor by fulfilling perfectly the precepts and counsels of the gospel and our rule? I am. Are you resolved with the help of the gift of the Holy Spirit to spend your whole life generously in the love of your brothers and in the service of the people of God for the sake of Jesus, who came not to be served, but to serve? I am. Are you resolved to serve the Lord in poverty and humility, as strangers and pilgrims in this world, and to be subject to His church as our seraphic father was submissive and enjoyed the same upon his followers. I am. Are you resolved with the help of God to embrace and love that poverty which our seraphic father loved most dearly and enjoyed upon his followers? I am. May God, who has begun this good work in you, bring it to fulfillment before the day of Jesus Christ.
dear brothers and sisters, let us pray to God, the Almighty Father, that through the intercession of the saints of the Seraphic Order and all the saints, he may in his love bless with his grace our brother Geno, whom he has called to perfection, fallen, to the perfect following of Christ, and with his loving kindness strengthen him in his holy purpose. Please kneel. Thank you. 
Zero. Give it a lesson. Oh God, it is you who sanctify your church and cause it to flourish. All creation owes you praise. At the beginning of time, you created the world for your glory. When it lay prostrate because of Adam's sin, you promised a new heaven and a new earth. You entrusted the earth to humans to make it fruitful through their toil as they traversed its paths to guide their steps to the heavenly city. You instructed your children through your sacred mysteries and you brought them together in your holy church. You bestowed on them a variety of gifts that some might serve you in chaste, chaste wedlock, while others, renouncing marriage for the kingdom of heaven's sake, might share all good things with their brothers and sisters. These are to love one another with such love as to be of one heart and thus project the image of the everlasting friendship. We therefore humbly ask you to send the Holy Spirit from heaven upon this servant of yours who in firm faith has clung to the words of Christ. Strengthen his soul, make his life conformable to the teachings of the gospel. O Lord, may he glow with mutual love. May he be on fire with zeal for humankind so as to be a clear sign that you are the one true God and that you love all people with an infinite love. O Lord, grant that by courageously bearing the trials of this life, he may now receive a hundredfold in promise and merit the everlasting crown at the end. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We now invite all the friars to give the sign of peace to our brother. Please come forward only if you are Franciscan.
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Thanks, Lord, accept the sacrifice in your hands. For the grace and the glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all of us, Holy Church. Lord, accept the gifts and the vows of your servant, and strengthen him by your love as he professes the evangelical counsels. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to trust. Father, O powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. He came with the son of our virgin mother, named those blessed who were pure of heart, and taught by his whole life the perfection of chastity. He chose always to fulfill your holy will and became obedient even to dying for us, offering himself to you as a perfect oblation. He consecrated more closely to your service those who leave all things for your sake and promise that they would find a heavenly treasure. He raised up his servant Francis, who professed evangelical perfection, and through him who bore the image of the crucified, he was pleased to attract countless followers into his church. And so with all the angels and saints, we proclaim your glory and join on their unending him a praise.
Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the poorest of charity, together with Francisco Alto and Jose Gomez, our mission, and all the Lord Be mindful also, Lord, of our brother Sino, who has dedicated himself today to your perpetual service, in ground that he may always raise his heart and mind to you and glorify your name. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Francis and Saint Clare, and all the saints who have preached you throughout the ages, we be merry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
sins of the world, bless those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy.
I don't know. 
always out of us. He's yours. Do you want us to invest? Do you want us to